Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. Before I start, man, I want to send a shout out to uh, Julian, man, from, you know, V-Town, man. He, you know, put me on game about this story, man, and, you know, linked me the story, man. But I want to send a special shout out to, uh, you know, Melissa uh, Perry Harris because uh, I got to give her credit, man, because she chose dignity over money, you know. You know, she chose her self-respect over selling her soul to be on TV, unlike some people we know, you know, like Stephen A. Smith, you know, or should I say Stephen A. Snitch, Stephen A. Bitch, whichever one, you know, prefer to call him. Anyway, in case you didn't know, um, you know, uh, this lady um, is uh, an African-American uh, professor. Uh, she's a, a black woman. She has all these uh, degrees. She's a political analyst for MSNBC. Now, apparently last week, she walked off the set of her show, you know, because she basically got, you know, into it with the producers. You know, basically what I've been telling you guys, you've heard Ticket talk about this. You've heard, you know, the one LBZ, other guys talk about what goes on behind the scenes when you're doing a television show, how they try to make you compromise yourself and she decided that she wasn't going to be their aunt sally their puppet their figurehead so she pretty much uh walked off the set of the show you know you know basically she had been going at it with the producers behind the scenes about the content of her show which i told you this happens where you have these producers that are white that try to tell black people how to conduct a show about black issues you know now i'm gonna get to the uh skip bayless thing in the next video but apparently she didn't like the direction the show was going and she basically told msnbc to kiss her ass now she walked off the show and this past sunday um her and msnbc decided to part ways Basically, a.k.a. which means she was fired. There's no such thing as a mutual agreement. Either you quit or you don't. When they say mutually agreed, a.k.a. that means we were going to fire you, but we'll just let you quit. So that's pretty much what happened. Now, apparently they were going to give her some kind of severage buyout package. But what they wanted her to do was sign a gag order basically saying that she couldn't discuss what happened behind the scenes but most people know what happened behind the scene they wanted her to compromise herself and she decided she wasn't going to sell her soul to be on tv and i salute her for that because you know we all know you know there's a lot of people on here that will sell their soul to be on tv you know and it's a shame that she decided that no amount of money was worth her compromising herself to be on TV, where Stephen A. Smith seems to have a price, and it's $3 million a year, where he'll basically just sell his soul and say some of the most ridiculous and asinine shit that you ever heard of. To be honest with you, Stephen A. Smith doesn't even believe the bullshit that comes out of his mouth because there's reports where he admitted to Corey Holcomb when he saw him at some kind of uh, function that, hey, they make me say this shit. Now, you know, I was told by, you know, the one LBZ that he admitted to Corey Holcomb that they make him say that shit, which makes it all makes it every bit of worse as, you know, you can imagine. He pretty much admits that he coons on TV. He would have better off, been better off not admitting the shit. So apparently he supposed it told Corey Holcomb that they make him say that shit. So that's worse. He would have been better off lying about the shit. So basically you'll be ESPN's puppet mascot slash house nigga to be on TV. That's sad. Where you got, you know, Melissa Perry Harris, who refused to sell her soul. And I salute her for that once again. 
Maybe Stephen A. Smith could take a page out of her book. Because she said, fuck the money. You know, she refused to sign that, that gag order where she wouldn't discuss what happened behind the scenes. So, you know, I give that sister her credit. So, you know, I just want to give her a salute. And it's a shame. I didn't, I don't want to go this route, but I will say this. It's a shame that in cert certain cases that black women have more heart than black men. I didn't, you know, I don't, I didn't want to make this a gender thing. I didn't want to make this, you know, black woman versus black men thing because we got enough of that shit going on. So, but I just got to give the lady her credit. So, like I said, Stephen A. Smith could take a page out of her book and be a fucking man and stop fucking cooning and selling his soul for fucking three million dollars a year. Because like I said, he got enough bread to where he could start his own, you know, media outlet. You know, like I said, if Dan Patrick can do it, he could do it. He's he has enough juice and he's at a stature where he could actually pull this off. So, you know, no excuse for Stephen A. Smith. Stop cooning home, boy. You know what I'm saying? Have some self fucking respect. I'm out.